Hi, so here we are at the robmills.com website and what I want to do is I want to show you how to log into the WordPress administrative interface and then just kind of give you a quick overview of what's going on there in WordPress and of the really relevant systems to this particular website or the really relevant portions of the framework to this particular website. So first thing I want to do is log in and there isn't, if you look on here, there's actually not a link to the admin portion of the website. Uh, we haven't done that. We, we'd be happy to put a link to the admin portion on there if you'd like to. Most people actually don't like us to because it's very simple to get there. All you do is type in wp-admin and this will take you to the portion where you log in at and I'm just going to type in my username and password. I'm going to tell it to remember me if I do that. Next time I come in, even if, even though I've closed my session, next time I come in, um, it will just log me directly into the WordPress interface. It won't ask me for a username and password. So if you were on a public computer, you wouldn't want to do that. Or if you prefer to log in every time for security reasons, and you don't want to do that either. First thing I want to show you is I'm going to come right here, and this says visit site. I'm going to open this up in a new tab to show you. Even when you're logged in, you still get the WordPress bar up here, which just gives you a quick um, we're going to go through these later on um, in other videos, but this just gives you a quick access to some WordPress administrative features, and you can click right there and just go right back into the dashboard. Click right there, you don't even have to touch that drop down menu, and go right back to the front of the site. So I'm going to leave this open, and I'm going to come back over here. So here's our dashboard, and this just kind of gives you a quick overview of what's going on in WordPress, plus some stuff from the WordPress blog, and shows you how many pages and how many page categories and all this other stuff you have. So this is, uh, like I said, this I, I myself, I rarely ever use this because I'm doing development. But some people will probably use this a lot. I don't know in this particular framework if you will or not. What you're going to be using primarily is over here, and this is where all the functions uh, for the administrative interface are. And you're going to notice, um, if you were to go into a, a default WordPress admin installer, you're going to notice there is not anywhere near um, the amount of these in a default WordPress install. A lot of these have been added because of the pinpoint framework right here that we've added. And then we've also added the HTML5 player and the revolution slider in there. So when adding the pinpoint options, a lot of stuff like jobs, testimonials, clients, teams, showcase, portfolio, downloads, those things got added in there. And so you wouldn't see those in a normal interview. And we're going to go over, we're going to go over some of these. Um, the first thing I want to go over here um, is portfolio. This is going to be probably the most commonly used thing because you're going to be dealing with portfolio items. Come over here and click on portfolio and this is going to give me a list of all these portfolio items. This is a really common interface you're going to see in WordPress right here. Um, the t the, uh, the column categories may be different, column titles I mean may be different depending on where you are, but it's just going to give you a quick overview of all the different here. Portfolio items. We have a total of 12. If we had a, let's say if we had a 50 or 60, we'd probably get about 20 per page and some pagination down here that we could go through. So I hover over them, I get these little choices, edit, quick edit, trash, and view. So um, They do exactly just what they sound like, although this, clicking this, and clicking this, do the exact same thing and take you to the exact same place, which is the actual editor for this portfolio item. This is the this is the editor right now. We're using what's known as the Swift Page Builder, and this allows you to quickly and efficiently build pages without or with without any or very little knowledge of code. Um, I could choose to go to the classic editor if I wanted to and see a bunch of code there. I don't want to do that. We'll be back in here to the Swift Page Editor, which is a nice, clean interface to use. To create. And you're going to see this is a little, this is a little upper, and we're going to go over these. I'm going to show you exactly how to create portfolio items and what, what all of these do in a later video. I just wanted to, to take you through this here real quick. Um, there are portfolio categories. Click on that, and you could actually add different categories to your portfolio. We haven't added any because um, there, we, we didn't need to as we were building this site yet. Another thing I want to take you over to is testimonials. Click on testimonies, another important portion of the site. Every testimonial is entered in on it by itself. Once again, you have the same choices, edit, quick edit, trash, and view. If I were to click on quick edit, see I can edit the title, the slug, I could edit the data was published, and I could edit the, the category, which is important for testimonials. But um, I can't actually edit the testimonial itself. To do that, I need to go into the testimonial. Go into the testimonial, and then you'll see I have a very similar WYSIWYG editor right here and here I have the actual content testimonial site which is actually going to be the same as the title in this system and a testimonial category now 
you're going to see that a lot of times in WordPress stuff is divided into categories. This is a very common because a lot of time WordPress utilizes these categories to display stuff on the front page. For instance, as you see, this has Demon Stone clicked here. If I go to the front page, I go to Demon Stone, and I go down to the portfolio item, and I click on the press tab, you're going to see that these have testimonials in here. Okay. Well, when I add a testimonial to the system and I give it a category for Demon Stone, it's going to display that on the page for Demon Stone. And once again, we're going to actually take you through and show you exactly how to get these particular testimonials for a certain category to show up on a page. We'll be doing that as in a later video as we show you how to put testimonials inside of pages. Um, another thing is going to be the HTML5 player is another very important part of this. This is what actually plays your audio here. That controls this. And through this, this is just the settings page right here. But everything is divided into playlists, and it's these short codes that put the playlist in here, actually. And once again, we will be taking and walking you through that. But I could click on the playlist here, and then it will give me a list of songs that I have. I just have one in here right now. I could delete, I could edit the song. But once again, we are going to take you through that step by step. But So you kind of see WordPress regardless of where you are, it has a very similar, regardless, sorry, of where you are, it has a very similar look and feel in the administrative interface. So in the next video, what we're going to do is um, I'm going to actually take you through creating a portfolio item and, and then getting it to display here somewhere in the front of the, in, in the front of the website. So